Top 10 Most Valuable Beach Stones, Complete Value Guide Beach stones are those smooth stones you find by the shore. They come in different shapes and are available in bright colors. You'll often find one that stands out from the others so much that you get tempted to take them home as a souvenir. In 2016, a couple discovered a large rock by the shore and sold it for 55,000 pounds. This rock, called the gray amber, or whale vomit, is essential in perfumes. We have your undivided attention now, right? Whether you've been collecting beach stones, you just found one that you think is quite special, or you're planning your next visit to the beach, we've compiled a list of the 10 most valuable beach stones in the world. The Top 10 Valuable Beach Stones in the World Today At the center of the ocean crust lies different rocks. These rocks break down with time into tiny pieces known as stones or pebbles. Some of these pebbles are carried by waves to shore, while others remain buried deep in the ocean. The prices below were recorded from online jewelry stores, antique stores, and different gem websites depending on the personal preference of the sellers. 1. The most expensive and valuable is none other than the chlorostrolite stone. It's a dark green gem also popularly known as Isle Royale Green Stone, and its origin is traced to the volcanic lava. First discovered on Isle Royale, Lake Superior by C. T. Jackson and J. D. Whitney in 1847. You would expect a rugged texture because of the turtle shell pattern on its back, but thanks to the ocean waves that have smoothened out these rough patches, this is not so. This beauty is small-sized and found by the shorelines. They are usually opaque, but translucent ones exist in some locations. Also, finding a large one is rare. The chlorostrolite exists in blue, green colors in Michigan and its surrounding environment. They sell for about $44,000 per carat. 2. The translucent nature of the agate stone is responsible for its permanent shiny outlook no matter the color it comes in. You'll find it by the shoreline and it majorly made up of a silica compound called chalcedony. The stone is also silky to touch. To attain this colorful appearance, the mineral properties, pressure, and temperature had a huge role to play. In estimating the price of an agate stone, you must duly consider the weight. Therefore, a pound of raw agates may cost $10, while two pounds can go for $20. But when it comes to valuing the price of polished agates, the heavier the weight, the higher the price. A 15 karat polished agate stone sells for $50, a 25 to 30 karat stone of the same quality costs $400. A Mexican fire agate of the same quality may range between $50 and as high as $1,000. 3. The peridot stone also known as olivine is a radiant green stone that contains magnesium, iron, and silica. It comes in a glossy outlook and is semi-translucent. As regards the color, it switches between yellowish green and pure green. Usually, a peridot stone takes its color from where it forms and the quantity of iron inside. Higher quality stones are more saturated in color. A peridot stone sells $4.50-$400 per carat in jewelry stores. 4. The pudding stone consists of tiny jasper stones and other pebbles that vary in color. They glue together with white quartz. This process takes a long time to achieve. It's also quite possible you'll minerals like sapphire, platinum, and zircon inside a pudding stone. They retail between $7 to $224 per piece. 5. The Amber Stone lies between Norfolk and Suffolk. A coast between Felix Stowe and Southwold. It exists as a fossilized tree remnant that has been around for over a thousand years and consists of animal and plant materials. It's popular for its curing abilities and rarity. Amber prices range between $1 to $195 per carat. 6. On the surface of the serpentine stone, you'll find snake-like patterns, strokes and spirals, which answers the pressing question about how it gets its name. Its major mineral components are magnesium and iron. The arrangement of this stone is called serpentinization and this is a process that occurs when water is involved in the stone mineral's formation process. 
The serpentinite stone comes mainly in green, but they've also been found to exist in yellow, gray, brown, or black color. It is translucent, easy to polish, cut into different shapes and sizes. They retail between $10 to $20 per piece. 7. Petrified wood stone, $0. Do you ever question the fate of wood in the sea? Well, the petrified wood stone is the answer you get. The woods turn into stone through the permineralization process. This process is the transformation of wood remains by minerals present inside the sea. The petrified wood stone is opaque, and light can't pass through it. However, the parallel lines parallel lines that form across its surface is a dead giveaway. The wood is solid, and it comes in two colors, pale brown and gray. It values between $0. $0.25 and $10 per pound. 8. Though primarily red, they still exist in different colors like brown, yellow, and red. The jasper stone is a filmy stone with spots all over it. Iron and chalcedony are major mineral components of the jasper stone, but it also contains a small number of quartz crystals colored by various mineral impurities. Each jasper stone gets its name from its colors, patterns, or the beaches where people find it. The jasper stone is cut into bits in gem shops and can sell for $5 or less. Smooth stones cut in stylish forms and used by designers cost between $2 to $5 per carat. However, some rare types like the Imperial Jasper and Madagascar Jasper command premium prices. 9. A calcite stone comes in different hues like red, brown, blue, green, or clear glass. There are large quantities of calcite stone everywhere. Little wonder it is affordable and easy to come by. It is highly sought after by spiritual healers for its excellent healing properties. Tumbled calcite sells for $1 to $5 per piece. 10. This stone is colorless and commonly found in freshwater. It forms through a physical and biological process that includes condensation from the sea and freshwater environs. Aragonite consists of different crystals with different shapes. It is a translucent stone with white streaks on the body and a resinous fractured surface. The stone varies in colors from clear to red, yellow, orange, green, blue, gray, and brown. A tumbled aragonite sells for $1 to $5 per piece in gem stores. The three types of stones. There are three primary stones from which beach stones and all other precious stones get their origin and mineral properties. They are namely sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous stones. Sedimentary stones. They form in layers because of clay, sand, or mineral particles carried by water or air. The limestone is an example of a sedimentary stone. These particles may be specks of dust, matter, or small chips from old rocks. There are three types of sedimentary stones, clastic, chemical, and organic. Metamorphic stones. Metamorphic stones are pre-existing stones that morph, transform, into their current state due to heat, moisture, and pressure. During the morphing process, metamorphic stones carry mineral properties from their source and gather new ones. Examples of metamorphic rocks include schist, marble, and slate. Igneous stones. Igneous stone occurs when a molten rock or lava from a volcanic eruption suddenly cools down. The process is exothermic and involves a state change from liquid to solid. A characteristic of igneous stones is the presence of large crystals. These crystals get their size due to the amount of time the molten magma cools off under the ground. Identifying Beach Stones To properly identify and determine the authenticity, durability, and quality of the beach stones you have in your possession, here's a list of tests you need to do on your collectibles. If your gem successfully passed these tests, you can move on to the next stage. The Water Test To enable you to get a detailed look at its color, formation, and mineral composition, you must first wet your stone. Some beach stones are unique. You can tell their mineral composition from their color. An example is the amethyst stone. The surface test. After a successful water test, you must then proceed to examine the surface of the beach stone. 
check whether it is waxy, metallic, or glassy. Some stones are also magnetic. You must check for that too and confirm with a magnet. If you encounter difficulties with weathered surfaces, you can use a hammer to break the stone and see the luster. Observing the luster in the stone can also help you determine the texture of the stone's surface. Crystal Shapes Test Most stones have crystals inside them. These tiny crystals take different shapes and form like pyramids, prisms, cubic and fine needles. But you can't see with your naked eye. You need the help of a magnifier to help you spot the crystals easily. The Mineral Streak Test Get a porcelain tile and turn it to the plain side. Drag your beach stone on this surface with enough pressure so that it leaves a colored line. From the colored line, you get information about the stone you are holding and its mineral composition. The Mohs Scale Test The test is also known as the Hardness Test. You need a coin, a nail, and a broken glass chip for this test. After scratching the stone surface with each object, you must record their effect and compare it with details on the Mohs scale. The Mohs scale has a range of numbers to determine the hardness of a stone based on the presence or absence of marks by these sharp objects. It is a hard stone if the nail, coins, or glass leaves no marks on the surface. The hard the stone is, the higher the durability and the higher the value. Why are there so many gems on the beach? Determining the value of beach stones. A beach stone's worth is calculated based on its characteristics, rarity, aesthetic value, trends, and metaphysical properties. Characteristics. Mineral components, hardness, and other physical properties must be studied when collecting slash purchasing a beach stone. Outstanding features increase demand, intrinsic value, and artistic value. Rarity. The harder it is to come by a stone, the higher the value, the higher the demand, and the special it gets. If you lay your hands on a beach stone with a unique shape or color, best believe your purse will grow fat in a couple of weeks slash months. Aesthetic value. The physical appearance of a stone determines its value. Some stones naturally have nice colors and shapes. Therefore, little effort is involved in refurbishing these stones. Trends. Demand for beach stones and the market for them is by fashion trends. If a particular stone is in vogue and used for high-end jewelry by designers, its value automatically goes up. Metaphysical properties. Some stones are highly sought after by spiritual healers, fortune tellers, and various religious denominations. They believe these stones can heal and read the future. FAQs. Q. Where can I collect beach stones? You can collect them by the shore of local lakes, beaches, and rivers. You can also travel to other locations to widen your range of collections. Q. When is the best time to collect beach stones? You'll find a handful of these stones after a strong wave or when a river overflows its bank. Beach stones and much other fun stuff are part of the residue the sea leaves behind. Q. Where can I buy beach stones? A. You can buy and sell your precious beach stones to jewelers, art shops, antique collectors. You can buy and sell them yourself on online websites. Parting words to live by. As a collector, beach stones are a great introduction to your inventory. Whether you are collecting to sell, decorate your space, or use for future readings, this guide is all you need to make the most out of your next stone hunt. Beach stones can lie idly by the shores for years until someone picks them up. Synthetic versions of these precious stones are widely available on the market. Increase your credibility by collecting pure gems only. Not all stones are suitable for jewelry.